What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. You know you're truly part of the woke squad when you see Dice Jar and Ojama Green buyouts in 2K18 and you think to yourself, what a world we live in. Dice Jar is obviously a huge swing burn card, but it takes a chance to get its effects off. A really big chance. And I don't think it's necessarily good for the meta, even though we saw this in the Dragon Duels world's winning list under Ryan Yu. I hope I got all that information right. But this card, I just don't see as stable, as truly a good card. And we see it... Uh, it's basically four dollars on all fronts here with the uh, db completely sold out now if we go over here we see there's still two dollar common first ed near mints available with three dollars people will keep listing these but there's going to be relatively few quantities because legendary collection joey's world is probably the easiest to get version with pgd i mean i guess you ripped open perhaps some newer released packs of this and db2 but the quantity is relatively low on this card, especially in the near mint category, and uh, I guess it was an easier target for a buyout than something like Chain Strike that is rational to perhaps be used. It sits at a dollar a lot of the times, and you see many sellers that where you could get other things and get this on top, uh, way below market price. It's hit you know above that dollar mark a few times in history, and is definitely the more realistic. We see one on eBay. Uh, there's probably several. I don't have this oh chain strike oh oh no uh we see it you know at a dollar in a couple places before it rises to two quickly in my opinion this is the better overall burn card and the card that you would want to be going for if you were trying to get a hard to get card since it only has one printing but no we're, we're truly woken going for dice jar for the memes and 2k18 Personally, I think there's actually a way better answer, and it came from the comment section in last Market Watch, if y'all watched about the Time Lord burn. Exodius is a level 10 body that gets itself on the field after you've done your Time Lord shenanigans. While it does conflict with Time Maiden not letting you special summon other monsters, if you were to half their life points, special summon this, and then make a Gustav Max since uh and, you know you're able to do that with your zero zero time lord if you hard drew it instead of or special summon time maiden and searched it out without having to use our graveyard effect to special summon you you have that's six copies of it basically to get to these two you do four thousand damage and then you put this on board main phase two gustav max that's two thousand more now with three or four cards left yeah you, you only gotta do you're telling me two thousand more damage that's pretty good the jump version being the highest is still way up from hype in the past i believe this was played in world chalice and decks like that so you see it sitting at 15 for the jump still uh which is actually a little down from its market price before and the jumps way expensive but not not to fear you have relatively budget options with exodius you have a. Uh, I believe a common and a super rare yeah we have the uh, super rare here it was sitting at five not as budget uh, market price and then we see other versions of it all over the place including a recent common from Millennium Pack which will be your cheapest this man has 73 at a dollar 25 so this shouldn't be going anywhere sometime soon and also to all those people John you feature a card it goes crazy why are you doing this oh you're, you're exposing the text look at ultra dreadnought a whole day after market watch market price 390 lowest listed less than 50 cents above it sometimes I feature something and it will go up people make their own independent decisions and it's obvious that people didn't think that this was the best way when I was talking about chain burn mixing with time lords versus trying to figure out a way to break it and use uh Gustav Max but I definitely like this answer I think this is the way that I'm going to personally test not saying it's right but I think Exodius being able to put its body on board and help you get into Gustav Max with basically no restrictions or it's something that works against the deck besides time maiden doing a second monster i i like this answer a whole lot in my opinion so now into red eyes market watch blue eyes got a market watch so it's fair right it's totally not because there's a link monster coming so there is a link monster we don't know its effect a retrain of red eyes and i just wanted to show off some cards and some differences like red eyes darkness metal dragon is already up to uh, around four dollars very low quantities over here on ebay but on tcg player has a shockingly high amount of quantities for the dt if you're looking for a nice uh, copy phantasm gaming has 36 of them at a dollar 50 
this would be something I would consider going in on as DTs keep getting bought out and going up. And this is one of the best Red Eyes cards in existence. It's definitely defined and helped out metas on its own, and uh, it has a lot of different rarities. I consider the Ultra to be the highest. A lot of people like the Secret as well. You have a new Duel Saga Ultra, so like plenty of different rarities, but these two are definitely the highest in my opinion. I would consider them higher than DT, but the DT also looks really nice since you're before Shatterfoil. You're in the old DT rarity that collectors really like to get. But you have plenty of budget options as well with the common down here. So don't worry about having to get it. But if you want a higher rarity of a card that Red Eyes has shown it's a very collectible card in the past, I would definitely go with the DT right now off of TCG Player. Uh, eBay's already showing, you know, hey, we, we've got the uh, sales to go with it. I also see that Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Ghost Rare is up. Uh, it's, you know, probably been up. It has a market price of 15 versus 26. I did see this on VCTRFS's Market Watch. In my opinion, uh, it's definitely a decent and stable card to get over time. It might drop back down from here, but it's a collectible Red Eyes Ghost Rare. And people have shown with their Red Eyes cards from that Duelist pack, I, a legendary Duelist, I don't know if you consider it a Duelist pack, that Red Eyes cards have a huge amount of collectability and that this was sitting at 15, it was naturally going to go up over time. It's definitely a card that ends up used in rank 7 decks, period. It's got a great effect, uh, it has a little bit of protection, and then you're also able to continue to charge them for activating any card or effect. So... It's definitely a gatekeeper card that is pretty darn good since we're talking about burn also but definitely not going to mix with time lords in my opinion and then we see 30 30 30 not bad at all in terms of i would think it would already be at this price point and i should have been checking back with it more often red eyes black flare dragon is back up a bit in market price for the super rare uh 775 near mint versus five dollars that's for the unlim uh, first Ed Super at 814, 814, etc. And then we go over here on eBay. There is a common version. That's what I wanted to show first. So don't freak out about having to get yours. But it's actually sitting at a stable around $2 common out of the uh, Legendary deck. So like people aren't going to rip open Legendary decks just for one Red Eyes card. But it's holding a pretty impressive value. So let's go ahead and look up the Super. I actually haven't done this on eBay yet. $6 for uh, one. Let's see if they have multiple copies. Nope, just the one copy. And then we see that it goes for $7.50, then $8 quickly. So meeting back up where it is on TCG Player. This is definitely a decent card in their deck and one that you can want to consider having if you want max rarity. The Super is relatively expensive out of core. But uh, the Red Eyes cards just really seem prevalent in their prices. Red Eyes Insight was three lowest the other day on TCG Player. Now it's four lowest because there was such low quantity at the $3 mark. But it really holds the line at four. There's so many sellers willing to sell this. Probably because they just ended up picking it out of bulk. I have one that I picked out of bulk on a table uh, somewhere random. And we also see $3 on eBay still. So something to consider. It's still readily available at the $3 mark in English Rare. But it, you might want to get yours sooner than later if you really think that Red Eyes Link, being Link specific to it, might finally bring the deck to the forefront. It, it really does only take one or two cards to really break a deck that already has a lot going for it into the meta. So we'll see how, if, if that is, Link is as busted for Red Eyes as our good old friend Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, then yes, we, we really could see it. But it also may be a jump promo from what I understand, so... Calm down on when we might be getting it, and definitely, if there is one volley of buyouts on Red Ice cards, take your time in deciding what to get. Ochama Green, why you keep you keep disappearing from TCG player? They're actually buying you like crazy. Well, ABC Ojamas is actually a real deck. It's unlikely to get hit by the ban list too hard or at all, and it's it's good. I see it on uh, Dueling Book a lot, and it's really rough to beat. We see it actually do decent at regionals. It's weird. We're playing Vanilla's 2K18 because the Link Spider and Link mechanic really have helped them become something else. And uh, they're still readily available on eBay a little bit cheaper, but it's still insane. I've actually picked a few of these out of bulk. Might have to come out of retirement and list them. This is actually just insane. I I haven't listed cards in so long, and I, I think I just might have to put some Ojama Greens out there for you guys. Oh, man. I, I never thought I'd see the day. 
that you know this this would be hitting above three dollars but that's the explanation again because i've been asked it several more times we covered the initial buyout and it's just the hardest to get ojama that's what it is there's only three printings of him he's you want to play ojama abc a relatively budget deck something's got to give and i guess this goes up uh, is this more expensive than secret rare buster i actually have to go look abc dragon buster i actually have to see <laughs> this is the world we live in and finally another buyout for you guys cosmojo is way up there around 19 dollars uh 10 cans crept up a little too on tcg player uh but you see the kind of buyout that it is people are trying to get them in get them fast and they skip out on the foreign ones leaving the market capped over here on ebay they want to get them in time to flip them so that's the kind of people buying these out once again they're not really committed to going for everything and there were also higher ones already listed because cosmojo has received multiple buyouts so people were like huh you're gonna take them all and they bought them up through a point so uh its market price was already somewhat near that 15 dollars mark but it's a much bigger gap on tcg player versus the foreign ones that you could take your time to get on ebay so not the biggest truest buyout i wouldn't be freaking out over it but cosmos really are almost good they they're they're there and if the uh, if they happen to come back on the ban list to dark destroyer it too or other things that help them out so be it but i i don't know where it would fall in our meta japan definitely had a a, a lot more hype for it as they got it more recently and had it at more full power than we did so thanks for watching today's market watch what did you guys think of everything happening and kind of going over red eyes do you agree or disagree that you know the collector value will hold on this because i feel like it really has a strong hold and stuff like this actually makes sense to me uh and dt red eyes what what why is it so low yeah, over here versus ebay i guess people just really got a lot i know that dt4 went on clearance at one point when i was talking about trishulas and why the the market tanked on them for a bit on dt4 trish so maybe it's just one of the leftover cards that people aren't thinking about as much as there's only 11 total prices here just sellers with them listed lowly let's actually real quick take a look back through that uh yeah there's there's a good chunk of them uh and honestly if i were still active and doing a bio i would just get all of these uh personally if i was still active and in investing in cards but you you see it doesn't take long uh, a relatively big amount of money in order to go all the way up to where hot sauce games is has one at four dollars it's a huge jump all of a sudden with only 11 sellers so again thanks for watching what do you guys think i i think it's solid collector value overall despite the many many versions of uh red eyes darkness metal and i think red eyes in general are really loved by a lot of people it's it's joey wheeler am i right